Ang Panginoon, inutusan niya kayo mga sarban kasi naghanda silang feast ng parang feast na kainan. Nung iniimbite niya yung mga tao, may mga iba't ibang reason. Sabi, busy ako, hindi ako makapunta eh. Pero hindi nila alam, sino nila alam, pinakamagandang party, yung party ng Diyos. Amen. Diba? This God's party. Ang akala ng iba, parang, when we think about God's party, we always think about, yung siguro baka may sayawan, may kantahan. Pero ang God's party, ito po ay medyo kakaiba sa ina-expect natin party. Of course, masaya din, may kainan din. Pero itong party na ito, medyo iba po ito kasi ito ay isang opportunity. Sabay-sabay natin sa main opportunity. Opportunity. Pag sinabi opportunity, merong chances ang bawat isang tao. Ang lugar na ito, Philippine Bible Society Building, fifth floor. Okay? Because one day, one day, I'll tell you, one day, God will ask one word sa'yo. Ano ginawa mo nung in-invite kita sa party? What do you do when I invite you for my party? Alam niyo po ba ang opportunity ng God's party ay ibigay? Yung word na party, gusto kong yung word na yan, ang equivalent ng word na party is encounter. Say that word, encounter. Encounter. So this is party with God means encounter with God. So don't miss the party television. So don't miss the God. Okay, don't miss the encounter. So, when we talk about when, when we begin to think about enka, uh, party, we begin to think about what? Encounter. encounter. Now, so, pag sinabi yung let's go to party, ibig sabihin yung let's go and let's encounter God. Okay, now how many among you, you have heard about a part, an encounter with God is the greatest party of your life. In fact, meron ako babasa isang passage sa Bible sa book of Jeremiah chapter 29 Verse 13, ang sabi po dito, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your what? Heart. With all your heart. In fact, ito po yung sinasabi kong this is your opportunity. Say that word, opportunity. Opportunity. The opportunity will be given only to those people who seek me and they will what? They will find me. Sabi na Bible, when you seek me with all your heart. With all your heart. Now, itong encounter party natin, una po, pinapaalala namin sa inyo, ito po yung opportunity ng bawat isa. Now, balikan natin, balikan niyo yung look, yung nag-invite. Balikan natin, ha? Tinan niyo po ito. Yung opportunity. Jesus replied, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. Ito yung sinasabi. Okay? And then next, ang sabi sa verse 17, at the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, come for everything now is ready. Sabi po ng five. Sabi po dyan. So, hindi-invite niya for banquet. Party, ha? But they all alike began to make what? Pambira, naghanda na. Yung invitation pala na to. The first said, I have just bought a pill. I must go and see it. Please, ex, ano? Excuse me. Do you believe when God is inviting somebody for a party, people began to give their what? Excuse. Why? Because sabi nila, eh, ano ko eh, may binili akong lupa, I must go and see it. So, they think that work will be the excuse. By the way, nung araw, pag nagkakaroon pala ng party nung araw, ganito. Halimbawa, magpapaparty ako. Ang kaugalian pala nung araw, three months to five months before the party begins, meron na parang preliminary invitation. Sa preliminary invitation, sasabihin ng mga tao, dadating ba kayo? Oo. Dating ko, kinasama ka ako. Ay, kasama ka? Oo, sama ako. Okay, good. Kasama ka? Oo, sama ako. Good. Lahat na nga ako sasama. So, ngayon, yung may-ari ng banquet, sabi niya, ilan lahat na nga ako sasama? Ay, ako din ko dito, ano, 300 po. Ano ba? 300. So, sige. Maganda kayo ng pagkain sa 300 person. Tapos, nung araw na inahanda yung 300 food, nung dadating na sila, may second invitation. Yung bang follow-up invitation nung party. Alam mo nung pangalawang party? Then, began to make what? Excuses. Pero, nangako sila. Parang ang tao ganyan, ano? Mahal ba si Lord? Oo. Punta kay Lord? Oo. Pero pag talagang puntahan, ha? Tawagin mo papa mo dito. Ano yung bibigay? Tawagin mo papa mo dito. Excuses. Ito ako ba yun? Mahal ba si Lord? Oo. Punta kay Lord? Oo. Tara. Ay. Isa ko. Tara niya gawin eh. Ano? Di ba? 
So, kung nangyayari nito, totoo nangyayari nito, tama? So, the first set, I'm just put up here, and I must go and see, please, ano, excuse me. Next verse, sabi ng verse 19, another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen, and I'm on my way to try them out. Please, ano, excuse me. Ito, marami, kasi kabibili ko pala ng aking oxen, eh, iyan ako pa eh, papatakbuhin ko pa, di na ko kung okay, excuse me. And then another, verse 20, I just got married. Kakakasal ko lang eh. So I can't ano, I can come. And then verse 21, the servant came back and reported this to this master. Then the owners of the house pay him what? Angry. Pay him what? Angry. Now, they don't imagine the one who invited these people that says, yes, I will come. And then they began to give excuse. They become angry and order the servant go out quickly into the streets and alley of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, and the blind, and the lame. They can say not. Verse 22. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still a no. Room. Lord, nasabi na namin, pero hindi pa rin handa. Kulang pa rin. Yung guest. And then, remember, God is inviting for a party, right? And when the people did give commitment to come, when the moment of the party is there, they are not there. So, sabi ng Bible, there is still room. Verse 23, Then the master told the servant, Go out to the roads and count the lakes and make them come in, so that my house will be what? You see, the, 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 ito po, ang nagtetel ng story to si Christ. Gumagamit si Lord ng isang illustration ng isang party to tell the situation of the people that when in terms of God inviting somebody, nagkakaroon ng problema. God's party is encounter. Ano ang God's party? Encounter. It's an encounter. Welcome. How would you like to have an encounter with God? Asyo ka man. Gusto niyo ba maka-encounter kay Lord? Amen. Amen. Don't you know that everybody has been invited to encounter God? Ini-invite tayo lahat. But unfortunately, not everybody is willing to say yes for that party. Gusto ko paliwanag sa inyo. Number one, meron kayong encounter opportunity. Meron kayong opportunity to attend this party. Kung ready kayong mag-seek at mag-find at nice nyo talaga ma-encounter ang Panginoon. You have the opportunity. Sabi mo sabi, you have the opportunity. Now, the second thing that I realize here is that hindi lang kayo may encounter opportunity, pero alam niyo ba, pag dumalo kayo sa party ni Lord, meron pa kayong reconciliation opportunity. Ang sabi ng Luke 15 verse 18 to 19, I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Nung binabasa ko po itong passage na ito, kapag kayo nagpunta ng encounter, hindi nyo lang nakikita yung part in my encounter ng Panginoon. Pero alam nyo, you also have the great opportunity to have reconciliation with God. Amen. Alam nyo sa totoo lang, you have to hear this. Hindi lahat ng tao nakareconcile kay Lord. In fact, the Bible is telling, the Bible is telling us that most of the people right now is enmity with God. Meron tayong pagkaaway at pagkahiwalay sa Diyos. But you know, the day you attend God's party, He invited you, He wants you to become, He wants you to attend this feast, this encounter, so that you could also experience reconciliation. Amen. Now, how would you like to hear that you are an enemy of God? You don't like to hear that, right? Pero alam nyo, lahat po ng tao, sabi ng Bible, lahat ng tao nagkasala at hindi nakaabot sa kaluwalan ng Diyos. When we said tayo nagkasala, whether we like it or not, we are part of the enemy of God. But you know, when we come to His party, that is our opportunity to have reconciliation with God. Yes. Alam niyo ginawa ng prodigal sa na ito? Sabi niya, oh, babalik ako sa tatay ko at sasabihin ko sa kanya, ako'y nagkasala sa iyo at I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. Itong bata, sino kakala ng prodigal son? Amen. Amen. Alam na istorya? Bumalik sa tatay niya, di ba? Tapos, binulastog yung pera niya, lahat umos. Ba't namuloy, nahirapan siya. Nahirapan siya, sabi niya, I need to go back to my father. 
Ang tawag mo doon, reconciliation. You know why God wants you to attend God's party? Because di niya lang nice yung ma-encounter si Lord. But first, gusto niya kayong maka-reconciliation sa kanya. God wants you to have peace with Him. Katulad ng batang ito, ba't ka nahihirapan dyan? Nagugutong ka, naglilingkot ka sa babuyang, kumakain ka ng pagkain ng baboy, natutulog ka sa kulungan ng baboy. Samantalang sa father mo, kung makikipag-reconcile ka lang, pwede namang maayos ang buhay. How many people today are willing to destroy their life without having the opportunity, knowing the opportunity, that you don't need to waste your life? How many young people today are they, they're just wasting their life? No. Don't waste your life because you have the opportunity to encounter God and you also have the opportunity to reconcile with God. Third thing, tignan po ito. Hindi lang reconciliation, but bibigyan pa kayo ni Lord ng restoration opportunity. Mababasa po natin ito sa Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrated His own love for us in this. While we were still what? Sinners, Christ what? Died for us. You see, you don't need to suffer you know, from being an enemy of God. No. Jesus Christ died for you. You don't, hindi lang may opportunity to, to have encounter with God or reconciliation with God. But right now, pwede pa tayong ma-restore back. Why? Because our sins will be forgiven through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why this party is so awesome, right? Hindi lang, nakatili ba kayo ng party? Una may bayad. Tapos, pagod. Pag-uwi mo, ang over. Di ba? Tama? Kinapuwasa, nangihina ka. Tawag na ito na no? Party. <laughs> you know what? When you have party with God, your life will be strengthened. Your life will be restored. Tapos, wala kang babayaran. You know why? Because Jesus paid the penalty of your sin. Nakaate na ba kayo ng party? Di ba? Kaya sa mga party, naihipuan ka, naihisahan ka. Pagkalabas mo, nakakonsensya ka. Ay, sana kung loko na yun, ha? <laughs> Bito, you know, pag kayo na silo, nagparta kayo kay Lord, walang manghihipo sa inyo. Walang maninigil sa inyo ng party speech. Di ba? Wala kayong hangover. Pero you know what? The only God want to give to you is restoration Amen. and reconciliation. Amen. That's why I like this party. How many of you like God's party? Amen. Ha? Pag-uwi nyo, wala kayong sakit ng ulo. Tama? Pag-uwi ninyo, grabe, natakot ako sa kasalanan. Pag-uwi ninyo, malaya na ako sa kasalanan. Why? Because the Lord restore us. Anong sabi ng number 4 dito? Hindi lamang po restoration, pero ngayon meron tayong opportunity sa number 4 ng provision. What is provision opportunity? Sabi dito, yet to all receive Him to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become what? Children of God. Man, can you imagine this? Before you go to the party, before you go to before you attend God's party, you are an enemy of God. But when you come out of the party, you become what? Children of God. Child of God. Well, I like that party, right? Tama, pumunta ka sa party natin sa labas. Pabago ka pumasok, you are the friend of God. Paglabas mo, ano ka na? Enemy of God. <laughs> Kasi sa party, hindi tayo malulog, matututunong kalukuhan. Why? Because that's God's, that's not God's party. But you know what? When you attend God's party, God will be providing every problem that you have, every situation that you don't like, God will provide a way out for you. Amen? That's why ako po, tuwan-tuwa ako din sa pre-encounter party natin because you will be given an opportunity. Sino sinong gusto maging child of God? Tayo siya kamay. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, welcome to God's party. Amen. Palapakan natin si Lord for that. Welcome to God's party. Alam niyo, nung binabasa ko po ito, nung binabasa ko po itong mga thoughts na ito sa ating party na ito, starting today, no? Para sa akin po, we have to make a decision today, no? Una, in-encourage ko po kayo magkaroon kayo ng decision. Ano ko lagay po dyan? I want you to make a decision to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. Paano? By accepting Him and experiencing God's most beautiful gift for your life. And that is forgiveness. Amen? Second, we have to repent of all our sin and begin to reconcile with God. Amen? And then you can receive God's gift of ano? Redemption. And receive God's full provision for your life. You are now a child of God. Sino sa inyo willing gumawa ng ganong klaseng decision sa sarili niya? Amen. Kasi yung mga 
Pastor Ryan, I like that decision. Okay? Ano yung unang decision? Basahin natin. Number one, go. Have Okay, sino sa inyo gusto niyong ma-experience na i-accept si Lord sa inyong buhay? Okay. Okay. You like that? That's good. Number two, basahin natin. Number two. One, two, three, go. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Are you ready this afternoon? Nasabihin sa Pag Lord, ang dami kong palpak, Lord, na yung kasalanan. Patawarin mo ko. At simula sa araw na ito, Lord, yung lahat ng kasalanan yung pinigin ko ng tawad, gusto kong makipag-ayos sa'yo. I want to have reconciliation. Sino sa inyo gagawa ng ganun? Amen. Good. Number three. One, two, three, go. Receive God's gift of redemption. Ano ibig sabihin? You must be willing to receive forgiveness. God want to forgive you. Isn't it this a good party? Diba? And then fourth and final sabi niya, receive God's ano? Receive God's provision for my life. I believe this afternoon God want to take you Amen? For this party, this encounter. And I know God will bless your life. Amen? Remember this, huwag yung kakalimutan ito. Magkaroon kayo ng hunger. Lord, gusto kitang may experience, Lord. Gusto kitang may encounter. But Lord, kung sa encounter na ito, Lord, kasalanan lang ang sa buhay ko maging problema, then Lord, I'm willing to surrender all my sins. Yes. Are, you, are you ready to do that? Amen. And Lord, yung kasalanan ito, Panginoon, alam ko through the blood of Jesus Christ, you will redeem me. And today, I believe Jesus will save me from the power of sin. Amen. And I know starting today, I should give your life to Jesus. I believe on this. Jesus will give you a new life and He will count you as a child of God starting today. Amen po ba? I mean, I'm only want to pray silently right now like this prayer. I mean, I want you to bow your head right now. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, sa hapon po ito, we thank you because we desire to experience Christ. We want to experience encounter with Christ. Heavenly Father, right now, Your blood is available for us to wash away every sin in us, Lord. Lord, indeed, this afternoon, forgiveness through your blood is available for us. Yes. Lord, patawarin mo kami sa lahat ng mga pagkakasala. Like, like the prodigal son, we are coming back to you, Lord, because we realize that without you, Lord, God, life is messed up, Lord. Ama, sa hapon pong ito, pour out your forgiveness upon us, Lord. And starting today, Lord, I believe ikaw po ang gagalaw at ikilo sa anong ang buhay. Lord, sa hapong ting ito, tinatanggap ka namin bilang Panginoon at sarili ang pagbitas ng aming buhay. Simula sa araw na ito, Panginoon, indeed, as we encounter you, Lord, our life will never be the same again. Our life will be changed. And our life, Lord, will be counted as one of your child willing to obey my Father. Lord, today, marami pong salamat sa pag-ibig mo sa amin as we worship and honor you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin. 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 Palakpakan